Yes, my people. Big up each and every one. Big up everybody. All the people them from in Canada. The people them from in America. The people them from in Europe. The people them from in the Caribbean. The West Indies. Big up all of my subscribers then. All the new ones that's just joined the channel. Big up and welcome and thanks for the support. Now, this is what we're going to talk about today. This is what we are going to talk about. Now, some people might agree. Some people might not agree. But that's the thing. We are here to agree and to disagree. But I'm sure that if it's even 99 percent of people will agree that this one is very much balanced when i say balance we don't take no side because i'll go for one go for all in this video now i have seen and i have heard a lot of things and this is one of the things that i've seen that I said that it needs adjusting because the situation needs adjusting. Yeah, things can go so. And things not supposed to go so. That is the reason why sometimes there is so much problems. Problems within the household. Problems in the relationship. And others problem, problem, problem. Reason be. Sometimes we do things, but we do things the wrong way. We do things the opposite of what we should be doing. That's what causing a lot of problems. Now, we will start with the wives. The wives. First thing first, the wives. You know the wife, they say, why you couldn't start on the husband them first? But they may start on the husband them first. The husband them will say, why we couldn't start on the wife first? But maybe start somewhere. Because it's a custom that we used to with them say ladies before gentlemen. So we're gonna start with the ladies them first. Now, ladies, me know say every woman love them pitney. Well it should do. You yeah, might have one and few we don't. We don't know how that go, but it happens. Yeah. But you can love your child to a certain extent, you know. And no matter how you love your child still, there are boundaries and borders where you have to keep. Yeah? You have to. No matter what. Especially if you live in a household where you have like a family structure. Like you have your wife, your daughter, your son. You know, you have to know how to flex within that relationship. Because if you don't know how to flex, that can cause a problem. And the problem that it causes can dissolve, dissolve your relationship. And you don't want to dissolve your relationship. You want to resolve the relationship. You get that? Don't dissolve it. Res resolve it. So, there's a lot of mothers and wives out there that have them husband or them baby father or them man live with and then son and daughter live with but mothers this is how I want to know for them see the one who know for start but those of you who have not yet started start it now and if you try it Try it and see if your relationship no better. Much. It will, it will be much better. One of you start treat one husband them like husband and start treat one son like sons. Yeah. Now treat one son like one husband and not treat one husband like one son. The reason why I say that is the way how some mothers deal with them husband and then son men should have deal with them way there. And the way how some mothers deal with them son and then husband then should have deal with them way there. Because a lot of mothers 
Then I could have some better than what I could have husband. Yeah. Yep, then talk with them son better than how them talk with them husbands. So my thing with some mothers tell them son, I tell them husband, if you do, sometime, ideally, and then son then should I tell, if you do them the something there. Yeah, then son, then if you tell, if you do them the something there. And when you start talking to your husband a certain way in front of your son, you know what that's going to cause? It's going to cause your son to you have no respect for your husband, which is his father, or it could be his stepfather too. Because the son, daddy you go, you ain't left, but you're good and married. You understand? And when the son hear you talk to your husband in certain way, as the man of the house, or of the father, the son will say, but I don't have to respect him, whether he might. My father, yes, I know because the way all me and my mother talk to him, he come like us and like a boy. I'm a boy. That my mother style him up more time and talk to him in front of me. My mother not talk to me so. So I'm a boy, so I don't have to respect him. You understand? So anything what the son see the mother do, the son will take the footstep and do likewise. And because the son probably knows say. If anything, he might have the mother for back him as well. If you are going to build up that type of relationship as a woman, your relationship will mash up. It will mash up because the husband will the one side and I say, Boy, that's a woman. Yeah. She does not respect you when she talk to me. But she doesn't talk to her son, so. Her for wisdom, she doesn't talk to him, so she talk to me. Like say, and me are the boy. You understand? You know what I mean? Woman, we have their son and their husband at their yard. And sometimes it's rubbish. If you wash, if you empty, the woman you need to tell the son. The woman asks the husband say, if he not empty the bin. When I know the husband, she if he asks that, you know. And the son, she if he say, on a empty day, on a, on a empty day bin. Well, instead, she will tell, ask the husband. And if the husband even say, what make you not tell so and so for empty? Sometimes the mothers, them and the wife, them come like them backs, like, you know, if you tell them so. You, like them, I tell you, say, whoever me tell, at them, me you tell. At that. And those things will mash up your relationship. Put things in perspective. There's a time and a place for everyone and for everything. Don't do it. Not do it. For those of you who are doing it, stop. For those of you who have not yet started doing it, please don't. Everybody have them boundaries and borders. And then perspective place in a life. And respect must be due. Where it must be due. Deal with your husband like your husband are the man. Deal with your husband like your husband are the head of the house. Deal with your husband like say, him are the king. Deal with your husband like him is somebody important to you in your life. Now deal with him like say, him is just a man. That's dear for whatever reason is dear for. But your son is more important to you because certain things you don't tell your son for do, but you will tell your husband for do. Nothing, no go so. Go your child like your child. Regardless of who it may be, whether it's a boy or a girl. Now for the man them same way, from the time now, when you get away. It's the opposite of what I've said I'm going to be saying to you. Treat your wife like a shared wife. And treat your daughter like a shared daughter. Not treat your daughter like a shared wife. And treat your wife like a shared daughter. Talk to your wife with respect. Talk to your wife with manners. Deal with your wife like a shared head of the house. Deal with your wife like a shared queen. 
as she run things in the house. And what she said, Allah and order. And there's no if, nor but, nor maybe, no coming at it. Don't tell your daughter, if you do things what your wife should have done. And don't tell your wife, if you do things what your daughter should have done. You get me? Yeah. No, no go so. Give everybody what you to everybody. And if you can't do that, do it and see if your relationship no better. You have enough money. Some money you didn't talk to them daughter. They're talking daughter nice and sweet, respectful and everything. Then daughter. And then talk to them wife like. You understand what I said though? That. No make it. So I don't want to know if you select it. You better have one you just reject it. You understand what I say? Yes, that's what I say. This is all about the both parties. Because both parties do it at times. You understand what I say? Me agree. We love the kids them. But we have to love them unconditionally. And to a certain extent and certain limits. And there is a borderline in everything what we do. I mean, I think certain things is right. As I say, the way of some woman deal with their husband, then deal with their son better. When I say, you know, if you deal with your son, good enough. But, give respect where respect is due. Yeah. And for the man said, we give respect where respect is due. You understand? Give everybody then crown. Who forget them crown, get them crown. If you have a man in your life and the man now flex good, like a man, I do him, do him for do. Like a man, I can understand totally. You know what I mean? If, it, if the man abuse you and the man in a really help you, in a contribute nothing to your life, it's different because you know, say, when you have a man like that in your life, eventually your animal will split up. But you still have your son. And it, likewise with a woman, said we, if you're a man, if you have a woman and she not treat you good, certainly we, whether physically or verbally, and she have a daughter, you will concentrate on your daughter because that's your daughter. Because eventually, you know, so maybe you're not a woman, one at a time might split up and gone, but you still have your daughter. You understand? But sometimes certain things can be prevented, but it's based on how we live and the type of things that we do. You understand? That for, for real, if your wife I talk to you like a little boy and talk to you like how oh, she should have talked to her son, you're not going to feel good as a man. And the same with the wife. If your husband I talk to you, like a little girl and I talk to you like I hear the daughter more time. You're not gonna feel good neither as a woman. And eventually that will cause a disruption in your family. Because first thing people are say, you know respect me because you don't talk to me with no respect. You know deal with me with no respect. And also you talk to Shana. And also you talk to David. That's, you understand what I said? When you talk to David, you talk to David good. You talk to David like a David a the man. You talk to David like you respect David more than me. Which in a while that create a big damage. A big hole. In your family, and sometimes they only get big, then can't even fix back, then can't even patch up back. Then only get big till it's to start to deteriorate more and more. It's beyond repair, beyond repair, and it's all because at the foot you step off on, step off on the wrong foot, you step off on the wrong foot, yeah. So we are there for each other. The husband must be there 
If you went time the daughter I step out of line. And I go on like she want frowns up and bright up herself and her mother. The husband must be there and say, no. You can't talk to your mother like that, you know. And you're not going to talk to your mother like that, you know. No matter how much we love you. But you say, mama, you have to respect mama. Not talk to mama so. Not in my presence or out of my presence. That if me even are there and here, she so talk to mama so. Me and you going to have serious words. And the mother them for do likewise. When the son them talk with them father certain way, the mother have to turn up and say, No, you can't talk to your father them way there. I said, Big up Miss V. You know. Yeah, man. Big up Miss V. Said we. So I met two boys, and if any time anyone ever feel like they want to say certain things, one thing Miss V. said, No, you can't. You can't talk to your father like that. Or you, you know, your father say, say something to you. Or something, yeah. And that's how we do it. That's how we do it too. If mother says something, and I flex her now, yeah. I say, you know, your mother says something. Or you this. You know what I mean? We don't have to do that for each other. So the kids then will grow and know, say, then you have respect. Because somebody might pick you, you have to drill the respect in you know, them. Because if you left them, if you pick it up along the way, then now I'm going to pick it up. You must live for them life. But as a parent, that is what we have to do. Yeah? Treat the youth them right. But at the same time, not give them the power where they don't deserve. They don't. Big up, poofy, big up. You understand me, answer people? That is how it must be done. And that is how it should be done. <clears throat> Give me a second. Yes, man. So, remember, you must treat your daughter good, talk to her good, and talk to her respect. But remember, very importantly, the mother or the wife. Because when you, talk, when you deal with your wife a certain way in front of your daughter's presence, whether she's there, yes or no, that will help your daughter in the future, in the decision and the choices that she make when she choosing a man or a husband. Because if she will choose a man and the man will deal with her a certain way, there and then she can say, you know what, this man is not for me. I want a man to treat me like how oh, I see my father treat my mother. And until the day we meet upon that man, we're not interested. And it goes for the son just the same. It helps the son in making the decision, the right decision in terms of which woman he might want in his life. Because when the woman start deal with him a certain way from the beginning, because he can't see the signs, he must say, no, this woman is not for me. I want a woman like my mother or a woman who treat me the way how I see my mother treat my father. You get what I say? Yes. That is how it must be. For the boys and the girls who not have the opportunity of going with mother and father for see them type of flex them. Them have to make their decision upon their own in terms of who they are going to choose with their relationship because they never get no no form of um, what you call it, you know, teachings from parents pertaining to them the things there. Them have to come up, them, them, them go to their own college and their own University, if you make them the decision there. Sometimes the decision them wrong, sometimes them right. But regardless, as I said, we are go back to where we start from. Mothers, wives, stop treat your husband like your son. And stop treat your son 
like your husband. There are certain things in a relationship where the husband have to do, must do, a thing duty, a thing responsibility. And there are certain things where your son have to do, a thing responsibility and a thing duty. And husband, same thing applies. Treat your wife like a she the wife. Because there are certain things that a she responsible for and what she have to do. And your daughter are the same. There are certain things where a she if you do. Make she do what she if you do. And left the mother if you do. Where? And if we can do that, everybody happy. Everybody happy. There will be no cause, no force, no argument, no contention, no war, no nothing. And you have a nice, smooth, happy life. Even though think I lie, me I tell, try it. Try it. If you think I lie, me I tell, try it. Try whichever way you want to try. But you want to try it the way you want say, or you want to try it for your way. But any wish you try it, you will see the result. So anyway, my people, me don't want to keep on a too long life about half hour and spend half hour a chat, half hour foolishness. Me don't want to do that. So I'm going to just chop off this right here, sir. And I'm going to ask you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like the video and feel like the way I talk, so it makes sense. Press the like video for me, please and thanks. Yeah, and for those of you who have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you, I ask you, just press the subscribe button. And when you press the subscribe button, you press the little bell for the notification. And when you press that little bell, you see, come up with all different options. Just press the one that say all. Because when you press all, it means that anytime you drop a video, anytime you drop a video, you get the notification, say, oh, the analyst shop a video. Let me hear what I said this time. Yeah, I remember, but please, like and share. Yeah, man, make me spread out them gospel out there because a lot of people's eyes need to be open on certain things. But those who know, know. Who know, 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 know. You understand? And the next thing, again, for all the people that have been following me over the years, from our first house till we moved to this one nearly four years ago, your, your people are following me from here to here. And a lot of people know that when we bought this house, it was an old piece of something. And me and Mr. V decided to we'll tackle it. And we always promised uh, we're going to run some video and make the people who are following because when we did just buy it, we just show some video and the state of it. So I know that people out there who want to see what I'm going So look out for that video there too. We're not in completion yet, but we just do a video for show now how far we reach. I think that video, first video will be about the kitchen. Yeah? So on a look out for that video there as well. But now if you follow the thing, you see the video. Yeah? So as I say, my people, jobless. Don't stress over pests. Remember, I know one love. Enough love. Anything we are doing, we do it to the best of our ability. My people, remember this, you know. We have to wise up, we rise up, yeah. And last but not least, remember this. We have to educate, we elevate. And remember, say, over here, so, we don't get the topics them where. I know the same everyday topics them. Like, you know, I get on YouTube. Like, with the same happenings and the occurrences. Some things occur and you guarantee say you go up on YouTube and every vlogger I come with a different version of the same something. Over here so I know so we do it. We articulate and we orchestrate and we come up with the own things. Things where people normally not touch. See, my people, so you hear me say now, big up on yourself, you know. And for those of you who live in the cold country, keep on yourself warm because it'll get cold. Proper, proper cold. You know. Yeah? And Christmas will come. 
for those of you who celebrate Christmas, who no big up on yourself, who no spend out too much on the money, neither upon Christmas, on the save some, we after, yeah? Seeing. So anyway, I saw the thing said. Yeah? Big up on yourself. Manners. We're gone.